It's very important to find sustainable fuel options. Uh, you know, climate change is a reality. We're providing them with an alternative to actually turn that waste into a resource. Everybody's going to have to learn how to use more environmentally friendly fuels and energy. As fossil fuel costs rise, global interest in alternative energy is growing. Manitoba Hydro is an industry leader in producing and promoting sustainable energy options. Manitoba Hydro's PowerSmart Bioenergy Optimization Program introduces new biomass energy technologies to industrial and agricultural customers looking to shift their energy supply to more sustainable sources. What we have here in Manitoba is actually an abundance of, of biomass feedstock. Um, we have a large forestry resource and we also have a large agricultural resource in terms of straw and other agricultural byproducts. These byproducts from forestry and agriculture, as well as waste from food production, are biomass that can be converted into energy as a liquid, solid or gas. Biomass energy is renewable and new technology is making the use of biomass in traditional power and heating systems more affordable. Biomass is often something that's considered a waste for a customer and that costs them a lot of money and so we're providing them with an alternative to actually turn that waste into a resource and produce renewable energy with it. Manitoba Hydro is demonstrating five new biomass energy technologies at various locations in the province. With support from the federal government's Clean Energy Fund, the demonstrations aim to show how biomass energy solutions can be practically applied. The first demonstration is happening at Tolco Craft Paper in the Paw, Manitoba. Tolco is a well-established forestry company with locations in several provinces. Their large operation is powered by a multi-fuel boiler. Tolco um, basically burns a number of different fuels to produce steam for the mill. And in doing so, they also use some of their steam to produce electricity. They burn three types of main fuels. They burn hog fuel, which is basically like bark and sawdust and things like that. And then they burn uh, waste oil and they burn bunker C. And both waste oil and bunker C are fossil fuels. For us, there was a, a main driver here in terms of finding a technology that uh, Tolco could deploy that would afford lower costs and make them economic to run their power generation system. Over the years, the uh, price of Bunker C has risen dramatically. We've been looking at all kinds of options to reduce our uh, consumption of fossil fuels, particularly uh, greenhouse gas friendly fuels such as uh, bio oil and bark and, and things like that. What we're trying to do with this project is we're trying to displace those fossil fuels with pyrolysis oil. Pyrolysis oil is basically liquefied wood and it's about half the energy content of diesel fuel. Pyrolysis oil is manufactured at the Ensign Technologies plant in Renfrew, Ontario. Well, the process is called fast pyrolysis, which is the rapid flash heating of biomass in the absence of oxygen. So what we do is we expose the biomass to a whirlwind of uh, very hot sand. A couple of products are formed, a solid product, which is a char. The other part, when the sand hits the biomass, is the gas that's formed. That gas goes off into a separate vessel, and there we cool it into a liquid. It is a process that we developed uh, starting in 1984 and had it commercialized by 1989, and we've been using it in industrial settings since then. Biomass is part of the natural carbon cycle, so rather than mining carbon out of the earth and introducing it to the atmosphere, which is what fossil fuel burning will do, we're just borrowing the energy out of that natural carbon cycle. Well, it all started about a year and a half ago uh, with some discussions about uh, using a biofuel, which this uh, product is, to see what kind of opportunities there were, efficiencies there would be in this type of fuel. When you have a new fuel, what it takes is actually a place where some people can use it. People can come and kick the tires on it, come see in their own circumstances how this might work. This is really the goal of the project here at Tolco is to showcase this technology and uh, get people to see how perhaps they can integrate it into their own facilities. This kind of demonstration is part of the PowerSmart Bioenergy Optimization Program. In this program, Manitoba Hydro works with its customers to create sustainable energy solutions and maximize power and heat generation with the use of fossil fuel alternatives that are good for the environment. 
Well, the bioenergy optimization program is under our PowerSmart suite of programs and PowerSmart brand. And what it does is it provides upfront incentives for uh, industrial customers and agricultural customers who have some access to biomass, be that wood chips or sawdust or even manure, and they can produce an energy with it. Manitoba Hydro offers incentives to help offset project evaluation costs and the capital investment required to install a biomass to energy conversion system, as well as technical support. It's really focused at making our customers more sustainable. Have you manufactured your goods in a sustainable fashion using the Earth's resources in a, in a sustainable way? To help showcase pyrolysis oil as a sustainable energy option, Manitoba Hydro developed a mobile testing unit with Ensign Technologies. The mobile skid is designed to heat and pump pyrolysis oil at the correct rate to allow the fuel to work properly with existing systems. Between a coordinated effort between Manitoba Hydro and Ensign, we were able to come up with something that fits the requirements not only here at Tolco, but at some of our other demonstration sites that we're planning in the future as well. Manitoba Hydro's goal is to make exploring sustainable energy options easy for its large customers. Well, our relationship with Manitoba Hydro is very strong and um, they did most of the legwork in terms of getting the skid built, the fuel delivered to the site. They've helped us technically burn the, burn the fuel. The partnership between Manitoba Hydro and Tolco has had encouraging results. The, the fuel burns very well and we've been able to, to work things through so that we've integrated it seamlessly with Tolco's process so that really their, their engineers and their operators don't have to do much, they just have to push a button and it works the same thing as fossil fuel. It was a success in terms of being able to burn it and that burning can produce uh, uh, steam for the generation of uh, power that we need. It could uh, displace fossil fuel if, uh, if the economics were, were such that uh, it could, that could happen. With the development of new technology, we can now bring biomass into the fold as a cost-effective, reliable fuel source. The future is these fuels. The, uh, environmentally, they're needed. Economically, they're going to be needed because uh, the third world is consuming more and more fossil fuel and we're just going to not have uh, enough fossil fuel to power the, the planet and uh, the price of fossil fuel will be very high. So I believe that there's a big future to be had in, the, in all these, uh, in these biofuels. For more information on sustainable energy solutions, contact Manitoba Hydro's Bioenergy Optimization Program Coordinator.